Hi everybody, Brian from Water Control, here to talk to you today about cartridge, basket, and bag filters. Now with a huge and ever-growing array of options in the marketplace, it can be pretty difficult to understand and choose the different types of mechanical filtration devices that are out there. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to break these down into three categories. Those being bag filters, basket filters, and cartridge filters. Let's start with the easiest first. A basket filter is nothing but a housing, whether metal or plastic, with a basket in it. In order to make it from the inlet to the outlet, water must pass through this basket. Particles that are big enough get trapped in the basket. Eventually, the basket needs to be removed and cleaned or backwashed by reversing the flow of water and opening a new line to the drain. This can be done automatically or manually. The key is to monitor the pressure loss through the filter so that it doesn't get too plugged. Basket filters typically do what we call gross filtration. That means they remove particles down to the size of about 300 micron. However, some specialized baskets can actually filter down to around 25 micron, which is the smallest particle that's visible to the human eye, or even a bit smaller. Bag filters are pretty similar to basket filters. The main difference? Instead of a plastic or metal basket serving as the barrier, they use a large bag, which kind of looks like a tube sock made of polyester, nylon, or a similar synthetic fabric. Bag filter pore size ranges widely depending on the bag that's inserted into the housing. The smallest porosity available is usually one micron. This is not small enough to block bacteria, which require a 0.2 micron filter, or viruses, which require a 0.05 micron filter. When a filter bag gets plugged up, it's removed and it's disposed of, and a new filter bag is inserted. Basket and bag filters are available with a wide range of flow capabilities. Some are designed for just a few GPM. Others can handle hundreds of GPM, even thousands. Cartridge filters are a more complex animal to describe. They normally top off at around 20 to 30 GPM unless expensive multi-cartridge housings are used. In general, however, they can be broken down into two categories, cartridges that block particles and cartridges that treat water. The cartridges that block particles come in hundreds of different styles and configurations, from simple balls of string to pleated paper to foam. Typical filtration ranges from 100 microns down to 1 micron. They're also available infused with electropositive media, making them able to filter down to the level of bacteria and viruses, 0.05 micron. And you can even get mini membrane cartridges capable of doing point of use ultrafiltration, which filters down to 0.003 micron, basically all particles. The key with these particle blocking cartridges is to always watch pressure differential through the filter. Too much pressure loss means the filter is getting plugged and it's time to replace. Now water treatment cartridges are usually plastic vessels filled with some sort of filter media. Common examples include activated carbon for removing chlorine, chloramines, heavy metals, and other chemicals, polyphosphate for preventing scale and corrosion, or ion exchange, a sort of throwaway water softener or deionizer, or even limestone for neutralizing acid. How do you know when to replace a treatment cartridge? Well, they're either replaced on a timed maintenance schedule, for example, every six months, or when they simply stop working, which may require some water testing. Water Control has a team of experienced water treatment designers. For help in sizing and selecting the right filter for your application, contact us today.